Friday, Friday, gonna get down on Friday. Everybody's looking to. Oh crap, is this thing recording? Oh man, that's embarrassing. Well, anyways, guys, welcome to your 16th JavaScript tutorial. And in this tutorial, well, you know what? Before I even get started, first of all, I apologize for my voice. It's a little raspy. But, anyways, I, I'm not sick, but I got like a bunch of phlegm in my throat. I won't go into detail, but I'm taking Mucinex DM. So, anyways, if I cop up a huge loogie during this tutorial, then, you know, don't be mad at me. It's destiny. It's bound to happen. So, just deal with it. So, anyways, let's go ahead and talk about nesting, what it is, and why it's useful. You know, before when we had an if statement, it's basically said this I'm going to give you a condition, and if it's true, run a bit of code. Well, now what we can do is nesting is the idea that you can have an if statement and you can stick another if statement inside it and then it's gonna say basically I'm gonna give you a condition and then I'm gonna give you another condition and if they're both true then run a bit of code so it's just saying instead of meeting one instead of passing one test you have to pass two tests instead so let's go ahead and give you guys an example before you get extremely confused so I'm gonna go ahead and set my first name equal to Bucky because that's my dang name and then go ahead and set my last name equal to Roberts because that's my dang name and now let's go ahead and build a basic if statement what we learned before if um first name equals two equal signs Bucky then go ahead and run this bit of code and we already know that whatever we write in here is our statement then it's gonna run because we gave it a test and it passed it so now it runs the bit of code but what nesting is is the idea that instead of just a regular statement like print out hello Bucky or alert box pops up we can actually go ahead and put another if statement in here with another condition so let's go ahead and put if last name equals Roberts and make sure I spelled everything right you see when you, whenever you uh, like have a variable or something and you want to make sure it matches just go ahead and double click it and then you don't have to be like F-I-R-S-T F-I-R-S-T N-A-M-E N-A-M-E just double click it and it's gonna highlight all the other ones that are spelled the same but anyways back to the tutorial so now let's go ahead and add a body to this and now let's go ahead and write something like document dot right welcome Bucky Roberts explanation explanation and I accidentally hit notepad so there we go just like that so now let's go ahead and save it and run this baby and see what we get whoa probably should have minimized that a little bit okay <laughs> uh yeah about this um I don't want to talk about that so <laughs> I actually forgot <laughs> I forgot that that was up there, so yeah, pretty embarrassing. But anyways, as you can see, it says, Welcome, Bucky, Roberta. I meant to say Roberts, but who cares? So now you can see the basics of nesting. Instead of having one test to pass, you now have to pass another test before you can get to your code. And this isn't only basic if. You can also nest if else. And now check it out say you're making a script here and you want to make sure the Bucky's or excuse me the user's first name was Bucky and then you want to make sure their last name was Roberts so if their first name is Bucky and their last name is Roberts it's gonna say hello Bucky Roberts I'll just go ahead and change that but if their first name is Bucky and their last name is not Roberts let's go ahead and write something else copy paste hello Bucky someone or something like that so now if your variable was Bucky Covington or something like that you go ahead and it says welcome Bucky someone because it passed this first test right here so it got in his first name was Bucky but then it says is your last name Roberts well no so it's so I'm gonna go to else and that says welcome Bucky someone so again I just want to give you guys the idea that instead of just writing a statement in here you can actually nest 
an entire if statement in here and then it's just going to give it more tests to pass and actually I don't want to confuse you guys too much but you can actually put another if statement in here and you can nest it like a thousand times if you want so if you're saying alright make sure your name is Bucky make sure your last name is Roberts make sure your favorite color is blue make sure you're 24 and you can give it a bunch of different ifs but actually if you guys are thinking about doing that there is a lot easier way so mostly people nest you can probably nest three ifs instead of inside each other and that is you know most the deepest that people go if you want to get deeper than that then there are better techniques and I'm gonna show you guys those techniques in the upcoming tutorials but I guess now that the cat's out of the bag then I'm gonna go back to watching my favorite music video <laughs> and I guess I'll see you guys in the next tutorial